Are you serious? Are you serious? Of course, breaking news, of course. And I saw it last night at almost midnight that debris, uh, I shouldn't say debris. We don't know what it is. They're calling it two objects. A couple objects have been seen way off the coast of Australia, about 1,500 miles out in the ocean. But some are saying it's possible that it could be objects from the Malaysian airliner that came up missing 12 days ago, MH flight MH370. Now, I don't know how you, from satellite you can see two, two objects and think that could be this plane. We've already had the Chinese give us a faulty satellite view. Now, is, now are the Australians going to do it? Well, let's see. I'm not saying they're doing it deliberately. I'm just saying that, uh, you know, somebody's got to get out there and tell me what it is before we, because every time they have us look in one direction, it's something else is always going in the other direction, it seems like. Well, let me tell you what's going on. Possible debris off Australia's credible lead for missing Malaysian jet. Um, and I've seen the satellite images, and it, uh, you know, it could be anything. Uh, aircraft and ships are plowing through some dire weather on Thursday in search of objects floating in a remote seas off the Australian coast, according to the Malaysian government. They're calling it a credible lead in the transcontinental hunt for a jetliner missing for nearly two weeks. These large objects, which Australian officials said were spotted by satellite four days ago. How come nobody's got there? They saw them four days, but nobody's been there in four days? Guys, it just seems like the, that, that the... It's like a shell game. Where's the jet? Where's the jet? Meanwhile, have radical Islamic terrorists taken it and hiding it and going to bring the plane back later uh, full of bombs? Or how about this? Did the government, did the uh, Chinese government take it because they want to extract some of the information from those 20 Free Scales Limited employees right here from Austin, Texas? Because in those guys' minds and maybe in their laptops or maybe in the cargo of what they were carrying are some sensitive trade secrets and information to help them in this cyber, um, cyber war that's going on for defense. We know that Free Scales Limited of Austin, Texas is a leading producer of microchips and mini processors and microprocessors and nanotechnology and bio nanotechnology technology and a major defense contractor to all four military branches of the United States of America. Or maybe the Americans stole the plane because there was 152, I think, Chinese uh, people on board as well as several Malaysians and maybe there was information that they had not counting the 20 employees to free scales, but maybe some of the other guys from either Malaysia or, or, or China, especially the Chinese. I don't know, was there one or two people on there that had some very powerful intellectual property that we wanted? Do we know what happened? Or was it just two pilots or one pilot or some dude in the jump seat who just wanted to go on a, 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 you know, a three-hour tour like Gilligan Island? And has landed the plane somewhere off the coast of Cocoa Island or some remote village with a bunch of natives somewhere. Or maybe it was just pre-planned and the plane is buried deep, deep, deep under an underground hangar somewhere in North Vietnam or mainland China or Indonesia. What? Or maybe the plane, no, we, no, 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 no. The plane did not blow up. Not on when it first started to disappear. It did turn and go off course. It Somebody did shut down the indicators and, and stop the plane from being detected by radar. Somebody flew the plane seven and a half hours. What actually happened? We don't know. But they are racing to find this debris, excuse me, two objects seen by satellite four days ago. But because of bad weather, it's, it's hard for them to get there. But I tell you, there's a lot of... A lot of tap dancing going on. Okay, now these large objects, which are 
which the Australian officials said were spotted by satellite four days ago in one of the remote parts of the globe are the most promising find in day. How can they be promising? Till you get there, you don't even know what it is, if anything. What was that satellite the Chinese showed us? Okay, anyway, uh, 239 people was on this plane. 239 people were on this plane. Where is the plane? Now, a Norwegian merchant ship arrived in the area Thursday, but officials cautioned it could take days to confirm if the objects were parts of the Malaysian airline Boeing 777. Malaysian's government said that the search would continue elsewhere despite the sighting in southern Indian Ocean. So in other words, we don't know anything. We don't know anything! Stay right here. I'll, I'll continue to monitor. We'll continue to uh, see what God is doing. Does this have anything to do with end time prophecy? Because does this have anything to do with trade secrets that could affect the new world order or the one world government? Or was this just a horrible accident that gone totally wrong and we'll find these precious people floating in the Indian Ocean. I'm Pastor Paul Bailey. You know what? Let's all pray for the families. Pray for the 239 people's families because of the devastation they're going through with all of these rumors and not knowing. What, but, but it's so strange that people called their, their loved ones' cell phones and they rang. A phone isn't going to ring in the bottom of the ocean. I, I don't know. I'm Pastor Bailey. Pray for the people's families. In Jesus' name.